Welcome back to Copy Trading on YouTube. Today's video is called eToro Copy Trading, 4,000 on camper fans. So today I'm gonna to be continuing my series that I started this channel on, where I'm gonna be using 4,000 of my virtual portfolio, cause that's all I have left on my virtual 100,000 that you get when you sign up for eToro. Cause at the moment I'm using my real funds to build up my copy trading firm account on eToro. So eventually I may apply for the popular investor program, but let's see if things go well with my stats, et cetera. So I'm building that account up at the moment, but I will be making more copy trading videos and day trading, day trading videos with real money soon, hopefully within the next few months. But today's video is gonna be called eToro Copy Trading 4000 on Camper Fans. And just before I start, I want to thank everyone who has supported my work over the last seven months. I just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube and I'm going to be giving a giveaway this starting this weekend and I'm going to be giving away a prize to one of the subscribers, so a cash prize. So look out for that and please like and subscribe. And also if you're new to eToro, use my partner link in the description and you're supporting my work, but it won't cost you anything. Okay, so. First of all, I'm just going to go over an uh, overview of Camper Van, who is a popular investor on eToro that you can copy for as low as min minimum of $500, which will cover all of these trades. So with copy trading, when, when the popular investor trades, you trade the exact same trades and the exact same percentage of the amount of his portfolio that he has trade, traded. So here we go. So James... Campion, aka Camper Van. So he said in an interview that he was called Camper Vans when he was at school. So he just picked that one for his profile name. So he's a du Dubai based British investor and he's been working as a private banker for the past 13 years. Okay. And he has been trading on T eToro for the last six years, but he's only joined the popular investors program recently because he said that he wanted to build up and show that he had the skills over five years. His account was private before that. He wanted to show that he could do it on the stats for, five, for over five years, and then he applied for the Popular Investor Program. So a great way to, to do it too. So he is with a, he's an average annual gain of 48 0.5% per year. So if you started off in January and then sold, closed off the copy on December, an average of 48.5% gain over the year. But he has a compounded gain so far since he started six years ago on eToro of 633%. Okay, so what does that mean? That means if you had a start copying camper vans when he started out on eToro back in 2015 and you left your money in and you didn't take your money out, you would have been up 633% because the, the gains, that 1.57 gain would have went on to the next month and you, you didn't withdraw it and you kept going and kept going. And then you kept going, kept going. But eToro does it over the year. So your compound interest is over the year on eToro. But if you had a copy of from the start, then this interest, the amount plus the, the, the gains was brought over to the next year, you would have been 633% up, which is massive. And But year in, year, 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 in, year out is really good gains, really strong gains there. So he has become an... I'll, I'll just show you here. He has become an elite popular investor. So he has, you have to have a minimum of 500,000K of people's money copying you. And he has at least a minimum of 25,000 of his own money. Okay. And he gets 1.5 to 2% of the amount that is invested in him each year. Okay. So that's pre pretty good. Good gig here for the lease. And then the next one is Elite Pro. You have to have 10 million under management. And he doesn't have that yet, but he is close to it. He has nearly 7 million. But I'll show you that now. But just keeping going here, 
Camper Vans, who is now, as I said, an elite popular investor, has experience with managing the wealth of some of the world's richest people, okay? So he has been working in private banking for the last 13 years, and he has been featured in many articles on online, but this one here is the best one that I found. This is money.uk, and he has mentioned here, so his day job is private banking. He's helping some of the wealthiest people in the world, and he's been sitting in with analyst calls which give him the desire and then he's been learning from his work and he's bringing that to eToro okay so he's been bringing the skills from his 13 years in private banking and when you're working with companies you learn and learn from other people he's bringing them skills to the table on eToro so this encouraged him to set up an eToro account six, six years ago because he likes eToro it was easy to use and he likes the way that it's a social act aspect to it where he can reach thousands of people where in his day job he may be only working with 10 people okay so he wanted he became a popular investor once he had a built a five-year track record so he wanted to build up his track record before he comes a popular investor so the thing he he, he likes about etor is as i said he likes the social aspect and he he also is very good he runs a core satellite strategy okay so he's really good at diversifying his portfolio so that's why i think he's been doing really well especially since the last two years his his portfolio is very diversified which is key to success i believe more and more i'm thinking it's, it's the best way to do it and i'll just show you how he's doing that now but so his core satellite strategy, which includes shorting, so he, he not only buys stocks and then sells them when the pr price rises, but he also does shorting. So you're, you're betting that the price will go down in the stock and then taking profit when it goes down, it falls. So he, his core satellite strategy is that he has a core part of it, which is invested in five to 10 conviction larger stocks okay so larger trades and he has about 10 to 15 percent of his portfolio in them so he has these larger trades like trades in ebay and cine world and he keeps them for the long term and he leaves them for passive gains okay but then the rest of his portfolio is a satellite strategy is the other part which are large number of smaller trades that he's more proactive where he's he, he's watching these more he, he's he's buying and selling these more than he would for his core stocks in his portfolio okay but he's keeping these trades at least over one percent of the portfolio so if you're copying with the minimum of 500 you'll be able to copy all of his trades okay so just remember to copy open trades when you're copying them and he's a long-term investor too but he recommends that you add funds over time to build your wealth okay which is a great way of instead of putting all your money into savings just keep adding a percentage into the copy each month or each three months etc and build up your wealth like that okay so camper fan he, he studies goldman sachs and jp morgans to get a consensus of what's happening in, in the markets so what the markets are thinking he follows goldman sachs and jp morgans but he also uses Seeking Alpha, which is a website, Yahoo Finance, to look for opportunities in the market. But he really likes the investor relation pages of individual companies. So these are the company websites that have investor relation pages with all the stats of their annual income, et cetera, their growth. And, but he, he doesn't like to follow opinion pieces. So he's not swayed by opinion pieces online. So he, he just takes all this information, he analyzes this, and then he makes his own decisions with trading. Okay, so Campervan invests in stocks and ETFs mostly. So stocks, ETFs are just a basket of stocks. So you can have a basket of technology stocks, or you could have a basket of currency, or you could have a basket of commodities like gold, silver, it's just a group of stocks which are great for beginners when you're starting out because it's so diversified. And with Campervan, his portfolio is really diversified. I think his, this is his strength here, and especially this year when, when the markets are so volatile, 
that it's a great strategy. You need to be diversified because people are taking their money out of tech stocks, etc. And we don't know if the market's going to open again and other stocks will be doing better, like Airbnb and companies that will do better when the market opens again. So he's really diversified. Okay. And he looks for companies that are forward forward growth sectors, okay, or, or leading I- innovators, okay, or have great balance sheets or that are in fe- are like research and development. He links all of these products, new, new companies that are research and developing new products, etc. But he's not really a crypto trader. So he said that in his interview, it's fe- very small amount of crypto trading. Okay, he has invested in in mining companies that that work on technology and software in the past that's for for mining bitcoin etc but he's not a crypto trainer trader so camper van recommends copying for the long term and adding extra funds over time and copy op- open trades to benefit the most okay so currently camper vans has 2102 copiers that have invested about 6.8 million dollars in his trades okay and before i go to his profile page i'll just show you here this is his fact sheet so he has a link to this in his profile so it just shows the overall stats so you can see here the total returns but if you look here this is the s p 500 this gray line here you can see since 2000 that's the end of 2019 he's really really massive gains there okay really smashing the s p 500 so if you want to compare them to that okay so you can look through here his average risk score is five and stuff like that. just a nice look there at his performance so he says here's the medium term investor with a long equity strategy okay so we we'll, let's go to his portfolio we'll just close these off here so this is his his portfolio on his feed he's really good he, he has really good posts on his feed very informative and very professional here he he goes through all of his trading etc and you can ask him questions here but really professional posts here at the moment you can see here he has an, a nice por- profile laid out there he tells you all his strategy etc i have went through of all of that in the last uh, page there but as he said he has a great track record and if you need to ask him any questions he's quite responsive here i i checked out all of his his interviews from etoro from the popular investor and he seems like a genuine a very nice guy and he just seems like a really down to earth guy for a banker to be honest um but it's now 2000s uh 2021 so things have changed <laughs> so that so he's a really sound guy um so i i would be looking looking at james uh, or camper van to maybe invest along with my j nemesis i have invested on ec green candle my other portfolio profile that i use for day trading and copy trading so here looking at his stats as i said i went through his stats before but his stats are really good okay so really nice stats here this year so far is 14.42 percent and you can see here we've had big red months all over the market if you look at other popular investors i see some popular investors are down near the 10 percent there's been massive drop in the market as people take the money out of the market out of tech stocks etc but his skill is diversification so it hasn't affected him too too badly here which is great and you can see here if you look on etoro if you click on each year here so last year was a massive year 144 percent gain which is is really nice like a lot of the popular investors had around 100 uh, some like jay and nemesis but 144 you can't ask for much more than that that's really going to the max there so you can see here if you click on each each year on etoro it shows the graph here so really nice and then we had 2018 the markets were way down that year for everyone so everyone was in the red that year so not a great year to be investing that year but it 
good year to buy in when the market's down that's the time when they get in on the good prices for the stocks but that's why the gains probably went up the, so much the next two years i've only been started trading since october last year but i've learned so much and i wasn't trading for this year here but there was a big downfall in the market 2017 was a nice year from here as you can see 62.27 percent and then the 2016 16.51% and then his fourth year he was starting off with 6.32 but everyone has that's not too bad for your start starting off year so really nice he'd one month there they did 47.06% gain which is massive and let's go to his risk score so his risk score is average around five or six which I like um start of the year it went up to max eight there but i wouldn't worry with that that's if that can hit short term and it'll show up neater i look at the average so five and six four there so really nice risk scores there that's fine he's 2102 copiers 30 new copiers in the last seven days and this is important the max drawdown so the max drawdown is the it's a good indication of the risk or how much his portfolio has fallen in one given time so a max drawdown is the maximum amount from the high point to a low point before it goes back to a high point so i'll show you that now so the maximum drawdown is 5.34 percent daily weekly is 12.62 and yearly is 15.81 which is pretty good definitely for the year yearly so you can look at these to, to show you what you should be setting in your stop loss but you should be setting your stop loss higher than this so i look at the yearly there and i wouldn't be setting my stop loss much more than 20 percent, or much lower than 20 percent. okay so well that's you need to pick that for yourself but um you can see here if you go to the graph here so that's just my account showing here. So I closed, it hit a stop loss in Airbnb. It must have dropped a bit. Okay, I'll probably, that's on my real real account. So the market just opened there. So it's very volatile. To start. So the max drawdown is, let's see if you can see there on the chart there. So this high point, from that high point to this low point until it went back up to the high point. So it would have been, the max drawdown would be this point to that point. And that's your max drawdown at one given time within a month or within a year etc so from from the top the highest point to the lowest point until it hit, hits a, the highest point again that hits a higher point than this point is the max drawdown so it's a good indication of how, how risky a person is but minus 15 is very good i've seen some popular investors up, uh, up to minus 30 so that's really nice there so really good so you can see 65.87 profitable trades you can see here only 0.13 percent was for for crypto and i think that was really old trades but um, you can see here it's been profitable weeks 55.36. Okay, but his his portfolio is so de diversified, um, it, it's really looking good. Let's just look at his um, portfolio. Let's look at his charts here first. Okay, so I have his chart set up here. So this is for the last two years. You can see here it, it really good gains in the last two years. Okay, so on the blue line here is blue line is j nemesis so you can see j nemesis he's beaten j nemesis okay so i always look at j nemesis as a, a good guiding point for me or a benchmark so he has been really beaten j nemesis over the last two years and the green line here is the nasdaq 100 and he's been smashing that and as i showed you before he's been smashing the s p 500 and also i loaded up the rsi model i'm a great believer in the rsi model so it's just really easy to use especially for long-term stocks or long-term traders so here is the 70 percent line so it's zero to to 100 so if it's above the 70 percent line it's oversold or uh, overbought sorry and it's a good time to sell or not a, a good time to sell your stock or a good time to come out of the trade 
So maybe a good if you're thinking about stopping a copy, but with with copy trading, you should keep it for the long term. But if you're doing short term, it's a good time to stop the copy, and a good time to invest in camper vans or or to buy a, a stock is when it's oversold below the 30 line here. So that's the 30 line here. So it means a lot of people have sold us. It's oversold and it's a good time to buy. And you can see the RSI model follows the dips. So definitely for a long-term trader, I would recommend buying in the dips, okay? Or just investing when it's near the 30 line. So 35, 40, that's fine time to invest. The best time to invest so he doesn't go below the the 30 line too much there he, he just did it once or twice in that massive drop down remember i said that would that would have been hitting his maximum drawdown because it was a massive drop until the next rise there but i like to use this chart here and you can see like these high times when, when the portfolio is way up it's not the best time but if you're going to do long term copy people sooner rather than later but if you're watching and you're watching etoro and you you want to look for a good time i would rec recommend when it's near the 30 line to invest or near 30 or 40 is fine 30 to 40 okay if you're investing up here at the high point here the problem is your your his portfolio could be over overpriced and then dropped because a good time to invest in popular investors is when their portfolio is down, especially long term, because then you're going to get more gains. OK, so you buy low, sell high. OK, so hope you understand that one like that. So as I as I said, let's look at his portfolio here. I just have it filtered by stocks. <clears throat> so as I said, he's down is his highest position. There is four point eight three one percent in Disney. So he's down minus 10.8%. But if you buy now, invest in camper vans now, you'll be buying it at 10.86% cheaper than what he did. So it's a good time to invest. You get me? So he, ha he has really good diversification. He's got six flags. He's down minus 13% on this. But I think once the economy opens it up again, this is going to be a really good stocks. So this is what I mean. He's really good diversification there. eBay is always a big company, a winner. And like for the long term, it's going to grow. Uber, that do, do the services, the taxi services and the food, great company. So when everyone goes back to work, there might be more business for that. And back to the office, I mean. Uh, Cineplex Entertainment. So when people, when, when everything opens up again, these stocks will go up. He's in Tesla. So Tesla is a massive company. It's down now at the moment. So we be watching that to see if it's a good price to get in or will it drop more. But Tesla usually goes from 550 up to 700. So there's great gains to be done in Tesla if you're just doing swing trading over a few months, etc. But good, good enough price for Tesla now. It's near near the 30 line on the RSI model. It's about 35 at the moment. It's below the 40 line. Um, he has lots of diversification there. Peloton that makes the gym equipment, etc. They dropped the way down. He must have just bought recently with them. Um, so there's a search engine, Yandex. So he's in there with Citigroup, which is banking, um, pin interest, social media. As you can see, Ralph Lauren clothing, etc. Badu is a Chinese search engine. Whirlpool, uh, which makes all the washing machines. Oh my God, it's so diversified. I really like how he's diversified. General electricity, so energy. Um, Lots of really good JD Sports clothing again, uh, entertainment. So his real skill, if you if you want someone that's diversified, that's going to get you through the hard times of what if the technology is down or one sector is down, I would go with camper vans. Uh, he is a really good diversification for stocks and ETFs. He doesn't do crypto or he, does, he doesn't have any uh, currency, et cetera, in his portfolio at the moment. But if you want someone that's diversified on stocks and ETFs, Campervan is your man. And also, I would recommend not to invest all your money in one, one um, popular investor. You need to 
diversify over different popular investors. So camper vans, over at least five different popular investors, I would recommend. So you're diversifying the risk and different popular investors that invest in different, have different strategies, etc. So if you go with Jane Emesis and camper vans, even it's a great to diversify. And then with um, he- Heloise, and she is also <clears throat> a good investor. And I did a video on her recently. And if you go to his order, he's got eat so that's all his stocks. And then he's got these ETFs, which are baskets of stocks. Okay. So different ones here, CQQQ. You can go in and look through all of these yourself. So before you invest in these guys or invest your money, you should go through all of this yourself, guys, and do your own research. So you can click in here and you can go to each profile page. And this one here is a Chinese technology ETF. So it's a basket of Chinese technology funds, traded funds invested in Chinese securities or stocks based on the FTSE China. So 25% technology, et cetera. So a lot of technology China stocks. But Chinese stocks are down at the moment. Um, So what can you do? I can see it's probably a good time to invest in Chinese stocks. But I haven't seen much growth in them this year, so it could be a long-term play with us. So mostly buy-in, but he does do shorting, guys, as I showed you there. So really good, popular investor. Um, One that I'm going to look out to copy with real funds. So him um, and Jay Nemesis I have and Heloise Grief is... The people that I am looking to copy, I already copied with Jay Nemesis, but you can't copy Jay Nemesis at the moment. He's copy block because he hit his AUM, so amount under management. So I'm going to pull the trigger on camper vans. Okay, so if you go to my portfolio here, well, you get 100,000 when you start off with eToro. So I have only got about 4,000 and 48.84 left. So 4,048 left of my available balance. So I'm going to use that for camper vans. So it's 4,048.48. Is that what I said? Okay. I'm going to. Okay. So let's see here. Virtual profile, just make sure that's in 4048 and 84. 4048 and 84. So I'll go back here, copy 4048.84 is what I've left in my balance. So I'm going to remember copy open trades, guys. And you can set your stop loss here. I'm just going to leave it at the default one here. So if my copy value drops below 60%, so 60% of 40,000, if it drops below that to 2,429, it will sell off and stop copying them. But this is my virtual profile. Remember to copy open trades. And I can click copy. And as I said, remember, it's a good time to copy because he's near the 40 line there. If you get near the 30, it's even better. So not a bad time to copy. Up here wouldn't be my best time to copy, but sooner rather than later is is the key. And you can see here that if I go to my portfolio, it should show up here. And as I started copy, there we are, camper vans. So I just copied them there and it's starting there. I'm just done with the spread fees. Remember with the difference between the buy and sell price, is going to be a spread fee charge. So there are the spread fees that show in there, not 0.16. So I've made 100,000 invested. But remember, guys, one thing to know about your virtual account, it's great for learning how to trade stocks or learning how to day trade, etc. But for copy copying people, it's good to learn the tools, but it's not accurate with the percentage, okay? So just keep that in mind. Obviously, your real account is accurate, but for some reason, sometimes it doesn't sync. Like my J Nemesis is not synced with his account properly because I, I started copying him when I started off maybe like last October, and it's only showing 
hit five percent but really he has more gains than that so it's really good it's accurate for your stocks okay etc but for copying people it's not so accurate so it's showing i have 100,000 invested i'm up 70,000 by 700 etc but it's not accurate because the stats are not accurate here it's not copying it some of the popular investors is some of it isn't i don't know why that problem is maybe etoro will fix that in the future but your real account obviously is but it's great for stocks and trying out buying and selling stocks and practicing day trading that's all going to be accurate percentages okay so i hope you enjoyed my video um again thanks everyone for supporting my channel and getting me to a thousand subscribers and I'm just gonna grow with that more and more. And I'm gonna be making more copy trading videos with real money and more day trading videos and more, more, lots more videos in the future. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support my work without it's costing you anything, you can go to copytradingforum.com, which is my partner link for eToro. And you can sign up through eToro through that. It'll support my work, but won't cost you anything. And I just want to thank everyone again for supporting my channel over the se seven months. I, it took me to get to a thousand subscribers, but they say that that's the most difficult to get to a thousand. But I plan to make lots more tutorials and stock trading, etc., in the future. So thanks everyone for watching and hope you have a great day ahead and great success in your copy trading endeavors. Okay, see you in the next video. Peace and love. Thanks very much. Bye.